Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'm so glad to see you. Uh, you know, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, some of the grocery prices and stuff that's going up. You may not know this or not, but I am a vegetarian. Now, I will meet, eat uh, like deer, bison, shark, you know, if I had to squirrel, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I, I like, um, I haven't had elk. I'd like to try some elk. Uh, too, not too much on beef, pork, or chicken. Really not. Never have been. It stinks. Um, it even stinks after you cook it. Uh, to me, that's my own personal opinion. But what I wanted to share with you is that today... Instead of going to one of the uh, big box stores like I normally do and, and do my little videos on the food prices and things like that. Today what I wanted to do was this. I went to the na the local natural groceries. And they're, you know, they're, what do you call them? Um, they have everything's organic in there, okay? Uh, hold on just a minute. I'll show you a picture. Them. That's who I went to right there. Okay, so we're going to go over, and you know, I don't have an income coming in. I am disabled, um, and I've had to get on government assistance to feed myself, and I use the food banks and everything, but uh, part of the situation with me being uh, disabled is that my activity level has gone way down because it's my back and, and at my lower back, and my sacroiliac uh, joint uh, that runs in my right hip uh, along where the sciatic nerve goes through the hip bone. Uh, all that's pinched uh, and messed up and swole. Uh, I just came from the doctor today, too. But anyhow, I'm getting better. Everything's going to be just fine. But I wanted to share with y'all some of the stuff that I got because what I have noticed lately uh, I want to say the last month or so at the big box stores and even some of the smaller stores is that the fruit, the produce, uh, is really bad. It's like rotten, got mold on it, soft, mushy. You know, you might find some good stuff. You might not if they've got it, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I want to show you what, what I got with, um, with what I could afford today. And it's not all my stamps or anything like that because I have to shop on a budget. Now, I have not bought any preps this month, okay? But I need to eat, and I need to eat healthy, and I figure if I got to spend money on food, I'm going to eat healthy, okay? So here we go. Let me turn this around and show y'all, okay? I think you'll really enjoy it. Okay, so right here, I got these Rainier uh, blueberries grown on Mount Rainier, apparently, USA uh, D uh, organic, and they're huge, I mean, seriously, look at, look at the size of these blueberries, I mean, they're huge, look at that, absolutely huge, now, at the big box store, they're, they don't, you know, they're not, they don't uh, have a good variety like this, they're real small, so, the blueberries cost me, let's see, let's see if we can find the blueberries. Uh, mm, come on now, where you at, blueberries? They cost me $3.69, which is a little bit cheaper than the big box stores, like Walmart, you know, all those sucky places. Okay, and then I got some cut and peeled carrots. I love these because they go in my salads. I'm fixing to make me a salad. Look at that pretty bunny eating a carrot. Um, now these, they're organic. And I've tried to buy as much as I can that's made in America. Um, from there, yeah, this is the produce of the USA. Yay, yay, yay. And uh, let's see, the expiration date is showing July 30th, 2022. That's not going to happen. Are best used by. That's not going to happen. These carrots are good. They don't have any white gook in the bottom of them or anything like that. If I would have waited till probably tomorrow 
or closer to the 30s, I would have gotten all this stuff at the food bank anyway because it goes bad. So for the carrots, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Carrots, 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 plums, carrots, peeled carrots, $1.59. That's cheaper than at Walmart, right there. Okay, so I've got to have a little bit of bread. So I got this artesian-style sabata. And for, I'm watching my cholesterol, see? It has zero cholesterol. But, you know, I checked it out, you know, and everything. All that good kind of stuff. And uh, one of the main things, where is it at? Oh, let's see what we got here. I don't have a country of origin on this, but usually uh, you do get them. So the Sabata bread, you know, I'll let y'all look at these prices. Okay, so here is the organic asparagus. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It would have been better if I could have got it at, uh, oh, say a farmer's market or something. But ain't nothing happening around here because it's so dry. But this is a product product of Mexico. I, I don't know if you realize this or not, but uh, most of our vegetables come from Mexico. Pretty much all the tomatoes that are in the store comes from Mexico. There's a lot of things. So our, our neighbors to the south, they're working their butt off, you know, growing some foods that we can that we can eat up here and stuff. But anyway, there's this recipe for um, asparagus, right? And um, you take it and you and you bake it with some lemon and some garlic. So I got a hold on. I got an organic lemon right here. It's nice and soft. But look at that asparagus! Isn't that beautiful? Oh man, I can't wait to get off into that. I seen this. Bragg is a pretty good uh, product right here. They uh they have um um. Oh, apple cider vinegar with the mother in it that's really good for a lot of uses. Look up and see what you can, you know, use the apple cider vinegar for. But overall, brag, it's pretty good. And I'm not trying to poison myself more. Got some, you know, crackers, things like that. You know, non-GMO, blah, blah, blah. Wonderful strawberries. Oh, my gosh. Hold on a minute. I can't wait to get into these strawberries. As a matter of fact, let's pick one out. Hold on. Let's pick this one. Look at that strawberry. What's well, a little soft right there? Hold on. We're going to we're gonna wash this strawberry off, and I'm going to see what it tastes like, because I bet this baby tastes good. Because mm, once you go organic, you don't go back. That's what I got to say. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Oh, oh, it's curling my toenails. It tastes so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. You can't go wrong with organic. That's all I got to say. You can't go wrong with it. Anyway, back to the the video stuff. Let me uncurl my toenails so I can walk. Hold up, darling. Here we go. Okay, so... I got me some bean, rice, and cheddar burritos. Of course, organic, plant-based. Okay, fine, whatever. And, of course, my nuts, my salted cashews, my almonds, walnuts. And I'm not looking at the cholesterol because I have a problem with cholesterol, as the doctor said. Well, that's what happens when you grow up in West Texas. Anyway, I got me some Granny Smith apples. They last forever. Oh, man. Let me stop with that. I got these uh, Desert Jewel here. Let's see where those are made out of. Uh, I tried to get everything. San Diego, California. Uh, distributed out of San Diego, produced in Mexico. These really taste good. All right, hold on a minute. Look at these babies. These organic plums. Oh, my gosh. USA darling right there DE bolt certified USA oh gosh Lord help me okay now now I didn't get any meats okay I very rarely buy any meats but I did price 
the organic chickens there, and they were eleven dollars for one chicken. Uh, wait, no, twenty-one dollars. Excuse me, for one chicken. Uh, a chicken breast was eight dollars. Excuse me on that. Had a little fubu there, but anyhow, this is what I got. Let me turn it around. Give you perspective, right there. And let me show you the grand total price. $62.10. Oh. Mm, got strawberry seed. Anyway, if you can eat healthy, eat healthy. Believe me, I got really upset. Um, you know, this back thing has been weighing on me. Not that, you know... I was in pretty good shape before this happened. Now, yeah, I'm a little bit, I was a little bit overweight, but I was working on it, see? And then the back thing happened, and it's just everything I can do to try and keep the weight off because of the medications. I'm really thinking about not taking the medications anymore because they're putting so much weight on me, uh, 42 pounds so far, and I'm not happy with that. I'm very sad about that, and I'm praying about it. And I know that God will take care of me because I just, you know, you go on medications to get rid of stuff, but you can't do anything. So you just get bigger and everything gets worse. So what I can do is try and eat healthy, truly healthy on a daily basis. And that's what I'm going to do. And, you know, with everything going on, we got to take care of ourselves right now. We really do. It's just... It's just too much sometimes for people. I understand that. Um, but I think that you need to keep on prepping. Take care of yourself the best you can. Utilize your resources. If you have to go to a food bank, go to a food bank. If you have to utilize some government assistance, utilize the government assistance. You know, it is what it is. And... I'm using, trying to eat healthy, you know, seriously. And uh, believe me, before I got food stamps, I was paying cash for all this same type of food because I eat like this. This is how I am. You know, I like to eat healthy. But anyhow, oh, I forgot about that fresh caught, like trout, you know, fresh caught fish and, you know, stuff like that, that, I, you know, I've caught and, you know, scaled or skinned or however you want to do it, depending on, you know, what it is. But fresh caught, yeah, I'll do that. You know, I'm, I'm kind of a girly girl on that kind of stuff. I don't like my meat dead for two weeks and food coloring on it before I get it. Just saying. Anyhow, hmm, y'all keep on prepping. And, uh, oh, man, I want to try one of these plums so bad. Anyhow, darling... Stay safe, keep on prepping, and know that God has got you as long as you've got faith and you believe, okay? He's got you. He'll lead the way, okay? No panic. Just see. All right. Thank y'all for subscribing, too. And like my video, please. Y'all have a blessed day. Thanks.